Most people think eosinophils, they just fight parasites, right? But also like when a child has a peanut allergy and gets a skin prick test, the initial redness and swelling is from the mast cell histamine, but then a raised bump afterwards is eosinophils. So they're guided by IL-5 from your Th2 cells. The eosinophils arrive late to the scene and then they're unleashing their major basic protein. It causes dam uh, damage of the tissue and also swelling. So there's a biphasic response and it's the type one hypersensitivity and it shows up in everything from seasonal allergies to like asthma. So let's do a practice question. Here's a six year old girl. She has nasal congestion, itchy eyes and wheezing. So she's got some allergies and she tests positive for cat dander allergy. But after she is exposed to the neighbor's cat, she's got some sneezing fits and also persistent nasal congestion. What's the main effector responsible for the delayed congestion? So it's no longer gonna be mast cells because this is actually just early phase, not delayed phase. CD8 positive T cells, this is a type four hypersensitivity that takes days, not hours. Think of like a TB skin test, for example. Eosinophils is the correct answer. IgG antibodies, this is, this is gonna be a type two because it's IgG antibodies involving your cytotoxicity, not your allergic response. And neutrophils are in bacterial infections or type three immune complex reactions. That's why the answer is gonna be eosinophils. All right, so it's a type one, Ig mediated, biphasic response, early, minutes, mast cell degranulation, histamines, leukotrienes, vasodilation, wheel and flare, we all know that. But then there's a late phase, two hours to 10 hours later, that's the eosinophilic recruitment, major basic protein with an indurated legion, and it's caused by the IL-5 and the Th2. Hot, T, bone, E, A. IL-5 from the Th2 recruit your eosinophils, major basic protein, and eosinophil peroxidase causes the tissues to actually be damaged. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe for a new question every single day. If you're curious and just wanna learn more, about science, about how your human body works. I don't know why I specified your human body. I'm presuming most of the audience here is human. Yep, just looked up the demographics. The majority are homo sapiens. Then consider liking and subscribing. All right, have a great day.